Well, look what I just found in my workshop. This is probably one of the oldest LED sets of uh, lights ever manufactured. I'll just turn the power back onto the lights here, if I can actually see them, because it's quite dark. Because these lights are not very bright. And they're a vintage set of PIFCO LED lights. And do you know it sounds so odd saying something vintage and PIFCO and LED lights? But they really are vintage. They're very dull. They're based around the old sort of uh, gallium arsenide for the red, gallium phosphide for the green, and goodness, goodness knows what for the yellow, but they're not very bright at all. And they come with this massive battery pack designed to take two D cells. In fact, it says in the back of it, it says, PIFCO number 1366 uses two Kodak KD LR20 batteries made in China. So um, inside is that sort of um, <clears throat> retro fiberboard stuff. Oh, let's, let's take it to bits. I want to see what's in here. It's notable that the LEDs are all in parallel. There's uh, the three channels plus a common, so there's four wires. And they're all in parallel, and then when it gets to the end of the string, it's just like they've just cut it off. It's like it could have been longer, or maybe they just manufacture it in one huge long run. But um, yes, interesting stuff. The holders are quite interesting too. I, want, I don't know how they're actually put together. I don't know if the LEDs are forced past the actual... Ooh, I might be tempted to take the last one out. In fact, you know, let's take the last one out. It seems sacrilege to be taking apart something so old. Oh, the, the leads have just slid out. That insert is not coming out. Oh, it's really clipped in. Is that glued in at that side or is it just clipped? Oh, it just doesn't really want to come out. I'm kind of intrigued now to see how this is put together. I think that might be actually be glued in. Oh no, it's just unclipped. So the wires are stripped where they pass through this, then this blade goes down, uh, covers those wires so that when the LED is pushed in, it just pushes past the wires. Very simple. But it does require that those wires get stripped where they pass through that. Must be make uh, manufacturing quite uh, tricky. I'm going to have to plug this in to find which way around that LED is supposed to go back in now. So let's, uh, where's that socket? Is it this way around? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, that, that didn't work too well, did it? Oh, right, okay. Well, I shall just, uh, before I damage it, because I don't want to damage some retro goodness like this, I shall just pop the batteries out of this. And let's open the, uh, I'll fix that later, but let's open the, um, let's open the controller. I'm going to brighten this image up a wee bit, I think. That's better. I think that's a bit brighter. Okay, dokie. Okay. I had it set quite low just to see the LEDs because they were, they really are quite dull. Uh, they're, they're old LEDs. There's another screw there. It's quite a complex circuit board. It's quite big. I'm guessing it's just transistor circuitry, I don't think uh, this is even from an era when a micro uh, microcontroller or even a chip, you know, a, a sort of dedicated flasher chip would have been about. It's all discrete transistors, three timing capacitors, lots of transistors and resistors, and I'm guessing that's a ring oscillator, the sort of, uh, almost like a flip-flop, but the three-channel, but then buffered up. 
So it chases one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. It's quite neat, actually. It's quite a find. I'm quite chuffed to find these. I think I remember buying them, and I don't think they were that cheap when I bought them. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little blast in the past. I mean, they're nothing compared to modern LED lights, but having said that, they're the older technology, they'll be very reliable. They'll have a good long life.